of these tumor-specific, activated T-cells then leave the original tumor to find and destroy other identical tumors throughout the body. The approach worked startlingly well in laboratory mice with transplanted mouse lymphoma tumors in two sites on their bodies. Injecting one tumor site with the two agents caused the regression not just of the treated tumor, but also of the second, untreated tumor. In this way, 87 of 90 mice were cured of the cancer. Although the cancer recurred in three of the mice, the tumors again regressed after a second treatment. The researchers saw similar results in mice bearing breast, colon and melanoma tumors. Mice genetically engineered to spontaneously develop breast cancers in all 10 of their mammary pads also responded to the treatment. Treating the first tumor that arose often prevented the occurrence of future tumors and significantly increased the animal's lifespan, the researchers found. Finally, Sega Barfi explored the specificity of the T-cells by transplanting two types of tumors into the mice. She transplanted the same lymphoma cancer cells in two locations, and she transplanted a colon cancer cell line in a third location. Treatment of one of the lymphoma sites caused the regression of both lymphoma tumors but did not affect the growth of the colon cancer cells. This is a very targeted approach, Levy said. Only the tumor that shares the protein targets displayed by the treated site is affected. We're attacking specific targets without having to identify exactly what proteins the T-cells are recognizing. The current clinical trial is expected to recruit about 15 patients with low-grade lymphoma. If successful, Levy believes the treatment could be useful for many tumor types. He envisions a future in which clinicians inject the two agents into solid tumors in humans prior to surgical removal of the cancer as a way to prevent recurrence due to unidentified metastases or lingering cancer cells, or even to head off the development of future tumors that arise due to genetic mutations like BRCA1 and 2. I don't think there's a limit to the type of tumor we could potentially treat, as long as it has been infiltrated by the immune system, Levy said. The work is an example of Stanford Medicine's focus on precision health, the goal of which is to anticipate and prevent disease in the healthy and precisely diagnose and treat disease in the ill. The study's other Stanford co-authors are Senior Research Assistant and Lab Manager Deborah Chervinsky, Professor of Medicine Shoshana Levy, Ph.D., Postdoctoral Scholar Irata Lam, Ph.D., Graduate Student Aaron Meyer and Professor of Radiology Sanjeev Gamber, M.D., Ph.D. Levy is a member of the Stanford Cancer Institute and Stanford BioX. Gamber is the founder and equity holder in CellSite Incorporated, which develops and translates multimodality strategies to image cell trafficking and transplantation. The research was supported by the National Institutes of Health, Grant CA 188,005, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the Bo and Varda Dozen Foundation and the Phil Ann Allen Foundation. Stanford's Department of Medicine also supported the work.